All right, guys, welcome back. Uh, it's uh, been a minute. It's been a long minute since I've uploaded a video. Um, I just recently got a new laptop, so I figured I'd make a just a random video. Just a Nintendo consoles tier list. So Nintendo has been a console company that's been in my life for my whole life, actually. I think my first console. I don't remember if my first console was the Game Boy Advance or if it was the PS1, which I know PlayStation is not Nintendo, but it was one of the two. I I don't remember which one. But yeah, so I have fond memories with all of these. I uh, I have some bad memories with some of these, and uh, we're gonna see how well they stack up against each other. I'm gonna be doing this based on uh, how much I enjoy playing them, how much I think they stack up against the competition at the time. And just how much am I willing to go back and play them and the memories I have with them? So Nintendo the Nintendo Entertainment System. Oh, yeah, one thing I should mention I'm not doing Japanese. So I'm not doing the Famicom. I'm not doing the Super Famicom If you want to hear my opinions on that, uh, you're never going to so I uh, Actually, I'll give my opinion. So like it, technically you can either say they're better or they're worse because I There's more on them but I also don't speak Japanese, so see how that goes. So anyway, NES. I don't have a whole lot of memories with the NES. Like I played, I played some of it on uh, the Switch. You know, the Nintendo on online, whatever. That's cool. And you know, I have the Castlevania thing, and Castlevania is kind of cool. I think it's more of a sign of the times because like this was revolutionary when it came out. And I just. I was I was too young. Like I wasn't even born when this came out. I was born in '97, so I was I was a little bit too old, too young for this. You know, I still love to play some of the games for it. Still love to play Super Mario Bros. 3, but it's not as good as Super Mario World. I'm sorry. Tiny Toon Adventures. Uh, pretty much it. Just because of the legacy and how it stood up at the time and uh, how much it's kind of fun. An A tier. Maybe I'll move it down later, but right now it goes there. Uh, anyway, Game Boy. This has Pokemon, and uh, that's kind of it. Listen, I'm really not familiar with any Game Boy before the Game Boy Advance, so I know this as the console that plays Pokemon Red, Blue, and Yellow. But um, other than that, I don't even know what I would play on here. I mean, obviously. There's gonna be like at least one good game on there that isn't Pokemon. Oh, Tetris. There's Tetris, but like Tetris is on like every console now. But so uh, again, at the time, the legacy, all that, it's, it's like here. But I don't know. Am I willing to go back and play the Game Boy? Not really. Super Nintendo, Esther. Super Nintendo has everything I think a console should have. First of all, it has a great controller. It has great games. Its games look great. They look significantly better than the NES. Like, significantly. Now, obviously, it's probably five times as powerful, so it's kind of to be expected, but, like... Man, there's so many good games on the Super Nintendo. Super Mario World, Super Mario R-Stars, Super Mario RPG, A Link to the Past, which is one of the few Legend of Zelda games I'll stand by. Um... Chrono Trigger, Final Fantasy 3, also known as Final Fantasy 6. Did I say Super Mario RPG? I think I did. Illusion of Gaia, Yoshi's Island, Super Metroid, Star Fox, like, Super Punch-Out, dude, I can go on. Kirby Superstar. There's so many good games for the Super Nintendo that I'm willing to go back and play. I didn't even grow up with this thing. They're just that good, and they're, like, so classic that, like, they so they really do stand the test of time. I, I genuinely think most Super Nintendo games stand the test of time better than most uh, N64 games, personally. Anyway. Uh, game Boy Color? I don't know. I'll put it once here above the Game Boy. I'm oh, sorry. <laughs> I don't care. Like, it's, it's the game that plays Pokemon Gold, Silver, Crystal. All it will ever be to me. And if I'm just playing, you know, one of three games, then it's whatever. Now, N64. Man, I got some, like, contra... 
I, not controversial. I have some like mixed opinions on the N64, because like I have memories with the N64 that are some of my favorite memories of all time. Like my good friend, Good Grief 330. When I was at his house when I was young, when his brother and we played like Mario Party and like Snowboard Kids and stuff. That some some of the most fun that I've ever had, genuinely. Like th- those those moments go above S tier for me. But like, I didn't own a Nintendo 64 when I was a kid, and I didn't own one until I was like 21. I don't even own it anymore. And like, there's not really many games that I would really go back and play by myself, you know? Because like, obviously, I-, I I genuinely believe that the N64 is like a party console. Mario Party, Smash Bros, Mario Golf, go- yeah, Golf. Mario Tennis, Mario Kart, I feel like those games, you know, some of the flagship games are just better with other people. Now, granted, there are some good games, like a lot of people say Majora's Mask and Ocarina of Time. Unfortunately, I'm not one of those people. I think Super Mario 64 has kind of aged poorly. I think Banjo-Kazooie is good. I think Conker's Bad Fur Day is... It has an age as well, but it's got charm. Diddy Kong Racing is good. Donkey Kong 64 just hasn't aged well. Kirby 64 is just not it cheap. And it's not that it's not it. It's just that I just don't like it as much as other Kirby games. And um, I don't know. It's just... I'm going to put it in B tier. I'm going to put it in the middle. Like like I said, the memories I have with it are beyond S tier. But like, there's not many games that I'm just going to go back and like play. Like whenever I feel like it, you know? That's the problem with the N64. Also, the controller is kind of weird. I don't hate it. I'm not one of the contr- I'm not an N64 controller hater. The one thing I will hate on is that like the sticks, the sticks are bad. Like, if you ever go to buy a Nintendo 64 controller, they list how uh, stiff the sticks are, or how not how stiff they are, how tight they are. Obviously, the tighter the better, and it's what you want. Much like a woman, so I don't know. The controller is kind of weird, but like it's it's not bad. Virtual Boy, I don't need to talk about it. Don't need to talk about it. The GameCube, A. I'm gonna put this at the top of the list. Now, these are not ordered in any way. Like, I'm not gonna sit here and like order the rest of these, but I am gonna put the GameCube at the top. The GameCube is my childhood, and I will go back and play the GameCube any day. Super Smash Bros. Melee, Mario, Sunshine, Wind Waker, and Twilight Princess. I won't stand by Twilight Princess, but I will stand by Wind Waker. Chibi Robo, Custom Robo, Pikmin 1 and 2, uh, Metroid Prime. There's so many good games for the GameCube. Kirby Air Ride, Mario Kart Double Dash, Mario Tennis. Oh yeah, can we talk about how Mario and Tennis and Mario Golf were on the GameCube and how like that was the last time those games were ever good like there's just so much that you, like you can do plus you have the game boy player too so you can play game boy advance games on your gamecube which was cool like the gamecube was so much fun dude like when i woke up i think i was eight years old when i got my gamecube i got like luigi's mansion sonic heroes tony hawk pro skaters 4 and bro i was eating good that night dude just playing all those games Spongebob, Battle for Bikini Bottom, Simpsons Hit and Run, like, there's so many all-time classic on the Nintendo, or on the GameCube, that, like, I, I stand by. I stand the fucking GameCube, dude. You will never convince me to not stand the GameCube. Like, it's everything I want. I think Mario Party 4 is the best uh, Mario Party that they've ever made. I think that's... The menu, like when you hold the A button down when you launch the GameCube, and you can see like the blocks and stuff. I love that so much. Love it so much. It's so it's so, it's so fun when you scroll through the menu. See that. Ooh, 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 ooh. Love that. Plus, if you hold down the Z button with one controller, it does the, it does like the laughing noises, and then if you hold it down with all four, it does like the the Chinese, which is cool. GameCube, I, I don't have enough positive things to say about it. Or, sorry, I don't have enough negative things to say about it. Like, it's just... Everything I want in a console is in the GameCube. And I wouldn't have it in any other way. Game Boy Advance, my first console. Put it in the tier. 
Um, Mega Man Zero, one through four, I think? Was it three or four? Pokemon, all the Pokemon games were, uh... Ruby, Sapphire, Emerald, uh, why am I blanking? Why am I blanking? Fire Red and Leaf Green, plus you can play Game Boy and Game Boy Color games on it. Um, I had the original Game Boy, the one that's in this picture, except mine was pink. A uh, little fun story, uh, me and my family went to some Walmart in the middle of nowhere, and they bought me and my sister, my parents bought me and my sister a, uh, Game Boy each. And my sister ended up with the black one, and I ended up with the pink one. It was pink translucent. But anyway, that's where I played my first Mario game. I played Super Mario Advance 1 and 2. I played Pokemon. I played fucking Mega Man Zero. What else did I play? Like, I don't need to tell you that Game Boy Advance has good games like Golden Sun and stuff like that. Super Mario RPG. Not Super Mario RPG. Super Mario and Luigi Partners in Time. Like, there's, there's good games on the Game Boy Advance. The problem with the Game Boy Advance is that, like, so this Game Boy that's shown right here, it's comfortable to hold, but the screen is so shit. And then with the other one, the clamshell, the SP, that one, the screen's really good, assuming you have the AGS 101 model. It's really good, but like, if you have big hands, it's not that comfortable to hold. And my hands are like, they're not big, but they're like, big enough to where they're annoying, so... Yeah, that's how it goes. And I know that there's... Did I say Golden Sun? There's Golden Sun on there. There's Metroid Fusion, Metroid uh, Zero Mission, Legend of Zelda, um, A Link to the Past on the Game Boy Advance, which is good. Like, there's good games on the Game Boy Advance. I'm going to be completely honest with you. I don't know. Oh, I forgot to mention my favorite game of all time. Which is Kirby, Nightmare, and Dreamland. Favorite game of all time. Is that enough for me to put it up in the answer? I'm going to leave it here for now. I'm going to leave it here for now. But Kirby's uh, Nightmare and Dreamland is definitely a stir. But anyway, DS. DS games. Did I play a lot of DS games? No. I played Pokemon Diamond. I played Mario Hoops 3 on 3. I played Mario Kart. I played. That's it. I think. <laughs> I think that's all I played when I was a kid. Uh, but that's really all you needed. Like, I don't know. Those games were some of the, some of the better games within their series. Like, oh, and there's also Bowser's Inside Story, which was good. Uh, what other good games were there? I don't know. I don't know. But um, DS, it's good. Dual screen. Everybody lost the stupid thing that goes in the D that goes in the Game Boy Advance port. Plus, you can play Game Boy Advance games, so yeah, it's pretty good. It's pretty good. I got no complaints with the DS, unless it's the first model. the The one that's shown in the image is a light. The first model is kind of cringe. I'm not gonna lie to you. Wii. I'll put the Wii in S here. Super Smash Bros. Brawl, my favorite Smash Bros. game. Mad World, No More Heroes, Xenoblade Chronicles, Mario Galaxy 1 and 2, Wind Waker, or no, it's not Wind Waker, Twilight Princess, Skyward Sword, Metroid Prime 3, like, we were eating good on the Wii, bro, like, I know that, like, 80% of the Wii's library is shit, because it's all shovelware, it's all shit games that, like, you, that, like, oh, my kid likes M&M's, he might like M&M's kart racing, don't buy your kid Eminem's kart racing, by the way. But yeah, Mario Kart Wii. Some people will say it's uh, the best Mario Kart game. I'm not going to agree, but I'm not going to disagree either. Because for me, it's between DS, Wii, and uh, the Switch. So, Xenoblade Chronicles, bro. They brought it back twice. Super Smash Bros. Brawl. Like, there's, there's so much good games on the Wii. And, like, Kirby's uh, Return to Dreamland was really good. They recently uh, brought that back on the Switch. I've been playing that. What other games were there that I played? I played The Blob. I played Sonic and the Secret Rings, which I, I, didn't, I didn't hate when I was a kid, personally. But Sonic Colors was really good. Like, there was a lot, like, good stuff on the Wii. Plus, it had the whole eShop thing and, like, WiiWare. Dude, the eShop was so, the Wii Shop was so good because like 
you can download your old games like them like your ocarina of times and your mario bros and your chrono triggers and all that and dude when i when i had enough money to start doing that i'm like yeah i was eating good dude i was eating good but yeah so we can't say enough good things about you 3ds you know i'm also gonna put the 3ds in s tier first of all i can play ds games so it has that going for it but then dude the games bro like the the we the 3ds started off so bad like the first like year but then man we got like pokemon x and y sun and moon ultra sun and moon aura so we had over oasis we had animal crossing new horizons kirby triple deluxe and kirby planet robobot now i know i've already said that kirby's nightmare in dreamland is my favorite game of all time but i think that kirby's planet robobot is the best kirby game ever made like i think it's objectively better than nightmare in dreamland but i just i prefer nightmare in dreamland because of the nostalgia but um yeah so it has so much going for it that like people didn't see it first but then as it got as it got wait, as it got older man it just kept going and going bro luigi's mansion 2 which i like kid kid icarus uprising which i would like if i wasn't left-handed uh that game is made for right-handed people in case you didn't know and then dude there's like super mario land not super mario super mario 3d world i keep getting names wrong name i can't talk but yeah there's just and you know what i like how it feels i really do like how the 3ds feels plus it has the eShop too it's not as good as like the wii u or nowhere near as good as the switch is but like it's there and i like it and uh i don't have enough good things to say about the 3ds bro do you know how many hours i put in animal crossing new leaf i put so many hours into that game that it's ridiculous and same thing with playing a robobot trying to like 100 percent it which wasn't that hard it was like it was the true arena that was hard everything else was like not that bad like you can do it but yeah so that's good wii u i i have it it's sitting right over there i've barely played it beats here xenoblade x bayonetta 2 smash 4 bayonetta 2 is like a top 10 game of all time for me i'm glad they brought it back on the switch xenoblade x was good mario maker was very revolutionary for the time granted we already had lunar magic at that point but still like the wii u was good the wii u was good i just the the, the the gamepad was it was i don't think it was bad to hold but i think it's stupid that you need the gamepad in order to like play your wii u and um if you want to replace the gamepad you might as well just replace the entire wii u because it'll probably cost the same and then mario kart 8 was good but it's better on the switch like twilight princess was good twilight princess hd and wind waker hd those were good games well wind waker was at least sorry i just i just don't stand legend of zelda unless it's wind waker a link i didn't say a link between worlds for 3ds i only stand a link to the past a link between worlds and wind waker so there you go wii u it's it's okay beats here which i'm gonna put that in s tier like out of all the consoles that are on the like the big ones right now so like xbox series x switch and playstation 5 I do genuinely like my Switch the most, and that's on God. Because, like, it's just, it's portable when you want it to be. It's a home console when you want it to be. I love playing indies on it. I don't know why. Like, I just much prefer to play indies on my Switch than I do on my uh, PS5 and my PS4. It's just, and, the, like, the flagships, like, they're so good. Like, they have a lot of the Wii U games, like Donkey Kong Country Tropical Freeze tokyo mirage sessions bayonetta 2 and like those games are so good on the wii u they didn't deserve to die with the wii u so i'm glad they were preserved for the switch super smash bros ultimate which is just mwah. mario kart 8 deluxe which is just mwah. uh breath of the wild which some people like i'm not some people mario odyssey which i think is a 10 out of 10 game uh what else is on there what am i looking at all i think every pokemon game on the switch is good you know even sword and shield i absolutely loved sword and shield despite what a lot of people say 
And then, yeah. I think if you if you want to switch, bro, you're eating good. You're eating good. So, yeah, that's about it. Uh, if you disagree with me, you know, fuck yourself. I don't care. Have a good one.